It's August 13th. The bulk of today's reading covers Jeremiah's prophecies declaring the judgment that will come upon the nation of Babylon after Babylon decimates Judah. But tucked into our reading, we see that God lifts the veil once again on His larger plan, offering one of the clearest, most vivid explanations of what He is planning for Israel and for the world. In chapter 31 and verse 31, we read, Behold, the days come, says Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which covenant of mine they broke, although I was a husband to them, says Yahweh. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says Yahweh. I will put my law in their inward parts, and I will write it on their heart. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. They will no longer teach his neighbor, and every man teach his brother, saying, Know Yahweh, for they will all know me, from their least to their greatest, says Yahweh. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. As you'll see in October in the reading of the Gospel, Jesus' mission in establishing the New Covenant was never fully understood until after He ascended. Only after Jesus finished the work of atonement upon the cross, resurrected and ascended, did His disciples realize the profound depths of what had just been accomplished, that the Mosaic Law had been fulfilled in Jesus' sinless life, and that His atoning sacrifice had been offered for all mankind and not just for the Jewish people. Yet here, 600 years earlier, is the clearest indication that God had given to date that something new was coming. He tells the nation plainly that indeed He will make a new covenant with them. Everyone in Israel was fully aware of the covenant of Noah, never again to flood the earth, the Abrahamic covenant, that the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would be His instrument of world redemption, the Mosaic covenant, the law, and the Davidic covenant, that David's descendant would rule Israel. And now, God was telling the nation plainly, the new covenant is coming. It's fascinating how people can be told something and yet not hear, or hear it and not understand. This brings to mind an oft-repeated phrase in the latter part of the New Testament. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Today's reading shows us again the importance of listening for what the Lord is saying. God's revelation is so much closer than many people think, but we have to listen. Here's today's application. Take a moment today and sit quietly to just listen to the Holy Spirit. Take notes on what thoughts or scriptures come to mind. As you make room in your life for listening to the Lord, He will indeed give you ears to hear. Now here's today's prayer.